Hi, Sagges. Sagittarius's. Some people don't like Sagges, Saggies. And I'm saying, hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is my second half of April 2018 reading. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back to those of you who come to me for weekly, monthly, and yearly readings and who write back to me and uh, let me know how you've allowed these energies to guide you in a path by which you are finding much more fulfillment, happiness, and joy here on earth. Thank you very much. It makes me very proud and happy to do what it is that I do for others. <clears throat> Pardon me for my gum. Um, it keeps my mouth moist, so I'm not constantly drinking water through the whole video. I'm just getting over a cold as well. I'm starting out now with a circle spread. The circle spread uh, is... Uh, I'm going to be using the cards of the Wisdom of the Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed And I'll kind of just explain the circle spread as I'm going along here. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Sagittarius with clearly defined messages regarding Sagittarius's life path here on Earth at this time on into and through the second half of April 2018. Love and romance, career and finance. At this point, I am just going to ask Spirit in the Circle Spread to specify any specific areas in your path right now by which uh, they would like to provide information. So the card representing your current life path here on earth at this time in the center of the circle is the milk and honey card. Just really kicking back and enjoying all the beautiful things you have in your life and giving thanks to spirit. Feeling as though this is a very karmic long-term connection and just swimming in that love, whoever this is. I feel it's a partnered energy. Now, in your mental aspects position of the circle spread, some of you, not all of you in your thoughts, are kind of sitting out in your boat wondering where it is you're going to end up, okay? Waiting and praying to spirit for guidance of sorts or to blow your path in the correct direction. Some of you are ready for a change, whether it's travel, whether it's maybe moving to a bigger home, Maybe some of you, I'm going to wait before, I'm going to wait for clarity before I say, well, some of you are dealing with an energy that is maybe a little bit sly or you're being sly and maybe trying to um, surprise someone about moving to a bigger location. It could be as well that some of you are in um, a beautiful, comfortable situation financially but by the next month and a half or so, we'll say at the end of April, early May, how's that? There could be a, a sudden change. And ironically, this sudden change is going to actually help you to move into a uh, higher position of pay to a bigger business, bigger home. In your relationship sector, Sagis, sorry, Sagittarius, we've got exchanging gifts. So really connecting with someone. It could be just exchanging the wonderful gifts of communication that involves love. In your creative aspects position, yes, this is about manifesting great things to come together with this energy of soulmate. In your actions position, it's like there's a lot of mending going on of your souls. Maybe the two of you coming back together after kids have moved out of the house or after something has taken place when it comes to a move, a change. Okay, so in your emotional aspects position with the unfinished symphony energies, this is about not receiving the messages you need to bring closure to a soulmate connection. And you're wanting in your thoughts to be led in the right direction. 
So it's a time of prayer. It's a, it's a challenging time, but it is a very spiritual time for you guys at the end of April, mid-end to April 2018. So in your uh, subconscious, we have imagine, imagining this happily ever after, whereby which maybe you guys are opening gifts. In your practical day-to-day -day matters position, some of you are just really flowing in this beautiful energy. 44 to me is solid home life, solid financial life. It's like contentment, peace, joy, happiness all wrapped up in one. As you're enjoying the milk and honey energies with the soulmate energies. <clears throat> Creatively thinking about how to make it all just flow beautifully as you are mending from something that is maybe a little unfinished but spirit saying in your inner strengths position they're offering you the tiktok energies they're telling you not to worry everything is happening as it should now is a time for mending and coming back together to start a new direction a new path so use your imagination which is in your subconscious position to Uh, be kind with others. Share your heart with others. In a three-card summary to my right, with the same wisdom of the Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed the first, so we'd say the middle, uh, third week or so of April. There may be uh, some, though this is the, yeah, so this is the third week in April. So we have that thinking of which way is the wind blowing, you know, what am I going to do? In my foundation, I have this soulmate energy. So Spirit's saying, you know, with that TikTok energy, wait and pray to Spirit to bring you the words or bring someone else the words or bring some sort of clarity and just sit and observe. Here's your cup, your yin. Some of you may be feeling like you're waiting for your yang to come in so you can become one. Some of you know what it is that you really, really want. And Spirit's saying you can manifest it. You can now allow for this to come in and water this beautiful new tree, this new part of your soul that went through this process down here and still pulled through. You're being re uh, regenerated by Spirit because of your positive karmic energies, helping, giving, caring for others, and the treasure island is coming your way. Wow. In the next two to three weeks, exchanging gifts, getting excited about a new beginning so a new path can end, so you can move into a bigger business, a bigger home, however it is. And some of you are maybe trying to do this in a way that is a little bit I don't know. Maybe it's a surprise. I'm going to go with surprise. So you're just kind of reconnecting at this time, reopening your heart because some of you, not all of you, are excited about a new beginning. I'm only pulling so many energies for this general reading. Spirit's saying, stay in the here and now and remain poised for success because as you keep your heart open, and pray to spirit about what excites you about your new path. You can take the time to clean out old negative people, places, circumstances, situations, environments, ways of thinking, and etc. It may be time to leave a tribe behind and to move into a path with a new tribe or to reconnect with your tribe. This could be family, friends, group of co-workers, uh, however it is. Because a path is done somehow. That never ending story that went on and on has now allowed for you to understand that the hard work is over with the chopped wood energies. You can now find success moving ahead. Here are the building blocks. And you guys are getting excited to move towards something more fulfilling. And it is being born for you. 
though for some reason some of you not all of you have a deep knowing that a person place or situation is not for you and spirit saying have peace have peace that everything is going to happen in divine order so in the wow by the end of April early May like this prayer is coming right to you right in front of you and you're gonna see this beautiful growth transpire and there's questions here about creating something together with someone someone may have a different perspective and spirit saying remain with a loyal heart go the distance to work out what needs to be worked out or decided because for some reason at some point serendipity is going to bring you the clarity you need and your truth some sort of truth truth is going to be told that will actually help you to breathe wow so wow <laughs> that's quite a reading i am going to bring in let's do a little bit about love let's ask spirit about love so love is at 1150 timestamp Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Sagittarius with clearly defined messages regarding Sagittarius's life path here on Earth at this time on into and through the second half of April 2018. Oh my. So, whoever's energies these are, this is why you're flowing in that beautiful bowl of milk and honey because there's a soulmate connection that just whew, gets pretty intense and you guys are in a contemplative mindset maybe praying to spirit about please guide me in the path which is best for me and I would suggest that that be the prayer for the next month for sure because spirit is going to bring you the ability to manifest something in your path. They're going to blow the wind of your boat into the right direction. And you're going to be reborn in this relationship situation, this connection to another person. Because you or someone else is dealing with some sort of self-sabotage energy. Now in your creative aspects position, there is a creativity that is also fulfilling you as you're connecting with a soulmate. And spirit is telling you guys, now is the time to discover your life purpose. What is it you can do day to day that will keep you happy and fulfilled in your own path? Now in your actions position, there is mending, healing, you know, and someone said, why, why do people always have to heal? Well, life is all about standing up and falling down and learning from that experience and standing up and falling down and learning from that experience until we stand up and maybe hold on to a tree branch and step over what it is we kept going through. And if you wonder if you need to heal, it's when sometimes you feel angry about something because anger represents pain. So this is a time of mending coming together after going through a situation, standing back up, having the courage in your actions position to manifest this milk and honey, this soulmate connection that's happening according to divine timing. In your emotional aspects position, you will feel as though as you're discovering what fulfills you when it comes to a soulmate connection, um, there may be emotionally the feeling of unfinished 
symphony energies, which is unfinished, the inability to have had closure in a situation. Mm. When it comes to either a child or someone who is still working on their inner child, or maybe you're wanting to connect with soulmates, and we've got soulmate here twice, in the center representing now and in your creative aspects position, finding your, your soul purpose in life. Maybe as you're finally bring, going full circle in your life path, moving on to that place where you can finally reside maybe long term you're being able to interconnect with your inner child once again. Interesting. So subconsciously, using your imagination as to how you can make changes at home, maybe even rearrange the home, create artwork, look at new homes, Because it's a time of regeneration it's a time of moving forward it's a time of milk and honey it's a time of soulmate connection and the only negative energy so far in a relationship is that someone may be self-sabotaging themselves because they because of the home energies i feel like they're trying to figure out where their home is where they belong more than you guys i think you guys know what you're ready to do but someone around you is unsure so in your practical day-to-day -day matters position, we have you thinking, and there are energies of entrapment here. Feeling like someone doesn't have control over their path, things are coming in towards them, when really we can stand up in our path and decide who can stay or go in our path. So that might have crossed someone's thoughts because you know you're thinking of your foundation you're thinking of your success you're thinking of people who come into your path and whether or not they align with your soul purpose your soul path that you are on at this time in your inner strengths position spirit saying pray to spirit that all will work out as it should and everything, no, with this card, everything is happening according to divine timing. And so spirits at work at it to line up what should and shouldn't be, to help guide you to make the right decisions. But the decisions are up to us, right? So here they're, conf they're confirming. We are giving you the strength to give something time when it comes to a temptation. When you know the right decision. It's about rolling in that milk and honey with a soulmate and finding the courage to mend. You or someone else or both of you. But the temptation card is definitely spirit's way of saying, we're gonna give you the strength to make the right choice, to move beyond and to have courage so that you can finally feel whole and you can mend anything old that made you feel trapped, that maybe made you guys want to self-sabotage. But it's a time of imagining a new home, a bigger home, a new home, bigger business. So in that three card summary to my right, using the same wisdom of the Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed we have Chaos and Conflict. And we have the Heal Yourself Reading Cards by Ina Segal saying, it's time in the first week, week and a half or so as you're trying to allow spirit to give you the clarity you need to move forward in the right direction, to recognize old cycles. Cycles are something we do in our path over and over again. It's how we learn. That brings us back to the same unfulfilling results. So at this time, it's time to identify a cycle. In this case, I'm feeling, thinking that you're trapped when you can decide to free yourself, to discover your life purpose. But I feel there's a strong desire for a soulmate connection. I feel like there may be, for some of you, not all of you, two soulmates here. And one... 
feels like milk and honey, feels like very fulfilling, it's very tempting, it's very sexual, and yet the other one gives you the freedom of discovering your life purpose. But we can always live our own path when we're with someone. We can still get excited about what it is we want to do. So whatever these cycles are, stop them in their tracks when you feel chaos or conflict coming your way. Pray to spirit for clarity. Keep your heart open to love. Because some of you, not all of you, have an old hole in your soul. Pay attention to the signs. Know that there is no place like home. And some of you, not all of you, are coming to an edge and looking over that edge at a brand new beginning or looking over that edge of what has been. Do I want to go around this path again and hurt myself another time? Or do I want to recognize a different path? Because for some of you, not all of you, in the next couple few weeks, you could be letting go. Now again, it's right next to this home situation. There's no place like home. So it could be letting go of an old home. There are energies of you guys and someone else helping each other through something. Maybe helping each other through some sort of temptation. And there's a change in the wind. And there's discussions of fairness and equality. And then there's fate. Spirit saying, remember, everything that you pray for exactly and precisely, we will hear you and we will bring that wish to you. The choice is ours. So which tribe do you want to belong in? Maybe by mid-May or end of May, you'll start to be able to breathe and understand when you speak the truth. That your loyal heart will bring you the questions you've been waiting for. Because there's a fork in the road here. There's a new beginning. There's a new direction. So for spiritual guidance, I'm going to bring in the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron reed Actually, no I'm not. Thank you, Spirit. I've been called to use my teeny tiny Rider Waite deck for people who understand these cards and like to learn a little bit more. If you ever want me to do your reading um, and teach you how to read your reading to get kind of a head start, um, I'd be willing to do that for the price of a I think a regular video reading, which will be uh, 55 instead of 45 uh, as soon as the 7th of April. Okay, I think we're ready here. All right, so this is a love story you guys are in, which is pretty darn cool. Okay, there's soulmate, there's happiness, there's milk and honey right in the center, feeling like you're in a karmic connection. Okay, and then there's alchemy. Okay, sitting in the sea, waiting for the wind to blow. What is alchemy? Okay, check it out. Oh yeah, I did look this up. Um, I want to see how they explain this, because this is a new deck. I'm just so curious right now. Um, where's that book? Where's that book? Number 25, which is seven. So I'm being drawn to pull a card for you guys that equals number seven, which is a very spiritual and spiritually guided energy. 
It's a time of challenge because there's indecision here for someone. All right, so I'm going to read from the book to give credit to the author and also because this is brand spanking new. In your thoughts, position of the circle spread. The path you are on is about to go through a very powerful transformation. Nothing is how it seems. You have an opportunity to take a big leap in your level of consciousness. It is extremely important that you focus on letting go of any negativity and beliefs that no longer serve you. You can access the energy of alchemy, which can transform the most challenging experiences into incredible gifts and miracles. Meditate and take action on your highest goals and dreams. They are on their way to coming true. Let go of your expectations. What is about to appear can surpass anything you have dreamed of before. The most important part is that you're prepared and ready to receive. The energy around you is very potent at this time, so make sure that you're using this time as productively as possible. Give yourself time for prayer, gratitude, and celebration. Okay, so be ready to celebrate. Wait for the wind to blow. And when spirit moves this in your direction, for some of you, not all of you, see, look at their saying. In the meantime, as you're sitting and waiting in your thoughts, work very hard on something, knowing what you have learned up to this point, using your spirit, your knowledge and experience to move forward into maybe a new path. Now, in the relationship sector, we have energies of self-sabotage, giving all of yourself, but now being reborn. And in your relationship sector, receiving the attention that you maybe have been wanting or you receive intent, uh, uh, attention from someone in the next week and a half or two. So that would be the third or fourth week of April. Discover your purpose. This is a time for a life purpose connection. Where is it that I truly belong? Who are my soulmates? Do I continue to work on this long, difficult path or do I lay down the path altogether? So creatively, think while you are working Pray to spirit for what you want in your actions position. Having the courage to mend and to heal for some of you, not all of you, is someone who has a very fiery nature. Someone who may have fire in her chart, Sag Aries or Leo, Sun, Moon or Rising. In your emotional aspects position, something is left unsaid. Something brings you back to your inner child and you're contemplating is this my life purpose is this my soulmate are these my soulmates i notice you're leaving a soulmate some of you not all of you to go to soulmates like a new group and spirit saying yes with the eight of cups these cups are empty this path really no longer serves you. And it is time for a new path, a new beginning in your life. It's a time for big changes and maybe moving. But some of you are in a committed situation that did feel karmically long-term stable, but a change comes that moves you into a bigger path. And then there's energies of slyness here. So I, I'm not quite sure what those energies are about, but I'll keep going. Subconsciously, someone's imagining a new home, a change of a home. Buying a home, wanting to build a home with someone who's giving you attention and imagining that home, keeping your heart open to a situation and thinking day to day about how to manifest your path without feeling like people are maybe being invasive of your path. At this point, stand up and get rid of anyone or anything that no longer serves you in your path. Think about that in your practical day to day matters position and then, you know, Speak your truth in a kind, fun way <laughs> as much as you can. And understand that maybe you've been feeling this intuition all along that 
you're imagining a new home and your heart is open to a soul mate by which you feel very happy and fulfilled when you're with that may be caused for you or someone else as you were happy and focused on home and moving that you've got a lot of attention whoever this is and then there's self-sabotage and trying to be reborn coming together with a soulmate and contemplating where your life purpose is and maybe even who your life purpose is with and having the courage to mend a situation with a soulmate who may have fire in her chart Sagittarius or Leo Okay. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to keep going. In your inner strength position, there's temptation and spirit is trying to help to guide you guys to when the divine can set up what is meant to take place for you. So this is very karmic. There needs to be mending before there can be coming together with a temptation. This is very karmic. This could affect your finances. This, If it goes down in a way by which it is unkind, <clears throat> that can change all of these wonderful things that are available to you guys. So for some of you, not all of you, to just reiterate, because I know that was a lot of information, and remember to always go back and listen and write down what it is you're hearing and work with that. Someone starting out great, they are in the comfort of milk and honey, they are flowing with the soulmate, and then they are starting to be led or feel led or asking spirit to lead them into a new path. Now, it could just be with finances because they've been somewhere for a long time, they're tired of putting so much work in, and they may contemplate moving into a new beginning. You guys moving into a new financial beginning, but waiting to see which way the wind blows, you know, basically. And then we have a lot of attention coming in. And you guys are really liking this attention. It's helping for you to kind of be reborn in your soul somehow. Some of you, not all of you, may have kind of a male energy or a just water sign energy at home that you are thinking about and imagining about when it comes to being reborn. It's like there's self-sabotage energies here because some of you want to discover your life purpose with your soul mates. And there is like this energy of looking at this queen saying, I need to have the courage to mend something between us because I have this temptation. But that's in your inner strengths position. So Spirit's saying they're offering you the strength to push away the temptation in order to let spirit tell you when it's time for that wheel of fortune to turn in your favor. And then the big things come. The big money, the big love, the big happy ever after. Okay, so we have, pay attention to the signs, okay? In the first week or so. Because judgment is coming here in your favor as a major arcana. And spirit is going to help for you to make the right choice. When it comes to some sort of cycles or patterns from the past, especially, it's a time of letting go. It's a time of looking over the edge to see what the next path looks like. It's a time to decide, am I going to continue to go round and round in this pattern, or am I going to go and connect with others where I help them, they help me, and there comes a change in the wind. Then we have this tribe, fate, and the strength to make your wishes come true. So focus on what your dreams are and hope, wish, and pray to spirit for guidance to bring you that wish come true. And again, for some of you, it is no place like home when it comes to your tribe, your family. It's your loyal heart that will help for you to co-create a decision. Because some of you, not all of you, are stepping between a, an old path, an old world of yours into a new path, a new world. But it's all got to be handled the right way. You know, do as Jesus would do. Um, so I pulled a card earlier because I knew we'd get over 30 minutes, which I'm trying not to do. And we've got the Wisdom of the Hidden Realm deck by Colette Baron reed So we've got the Dragon Stool Energies for you guys representing the second half of April 2018. This is about inner conflict, morality, and a conscious choice. The dragon's duel takes place at the proverbial fork in the road, like I just said. 
It's both ally and challenger at once as it represents the tension of opposites. Even though the truth that we live is in truth is that we live in unity, we experience the duality of faith and doubt, love and fear, right and wrong, black and white. This aspect of your current experience asks you to accept that although you may be going one way, another may call to you to change direction. Now is the time to inquire whether it's your ego or your soul leading you in this path. There are always choices in life. Decisions making, decision making also solves inner conflict. If you're torn between two dragons, the one that you choose to feed will be the one that wins. So which is it? If it's not the one that serves the highest good in of your intentions, then deliberately feed the other and the duel will be won in your favor. Interesting message there. Wow. So, um, yeah, lots of changes for you guys. Remember these energies extend out through now from when you hear the video into the end of April, early May 2018. As you come back and listen to it, write down different things that you're hearing and ask yourself, why am I writing down this down? What does this mean to me? What have I learned about this in my life? How am I going to take this spiritual education and knowledge and apply it to my path moving forward so I can find my peace, joy, contentment, happiness, love, prosperity, and good health. Thank you again for stopping by. Take care and God bless.